great day to be alive and a fine time to be a part of the one and only ABAC. Hello everyone, Mike Chasen here on the set of ABAC Update. Today we're at the Georgia Museum of Agriculture and Historic Village. We're talking about a brand new exhibit which begins January 21st in the museum gallery. With us today is Polly Huff. She is the gallery curator here at the museum for the Arts Connection at Abraham Baldwin Agricultural College. Does a fantastic job. We've talked to her on ABAC Update before about the many, many exhibits that are going on here at the museum. Got a brand new exhibit which becomes a part of the museum on January 21st. Polly, welcome to ABAC Update. Thank you. Thank you. Know, coming up on January 21st, we have the grand opening of a brand new exhibit. What's the name of the exhibit? We do. We're really excited. The name of it is T for Three. And the reason why we decided to name it that okay. is we're showcasing three of the best Georgia artists in this exhibit. And one of them actually builds wooden architectural structures that um, look like teapots. Really? So we thought teapots, three artists, why not name it T for three? Yeah, the old T for two and two <laughs> for T. I like it. Right. T for three. So T for three. And we will open, as you said, on the 21st. That's a Saturday, so at 5.30 that evening, we're going to have a really nice reception okay. hosted by two of our partners. Um, one is the brand new Wiregrass Farmer's Market, which will actually open here at the museum in April. All right. But the Wiregrass Farmer's Market is going to have local cooks and farmers prepare dishes with locally grown foods. I love it. Local connection. Yes, and it, it will all be um, high tea. So there'll be tea sandwiches, scones, biscuits, and all that. We have the little cups that you grip between your fingers and get I don't know yet, but the Hilton Garden Inn is making all the teas for okay. the evening. So they're going to um, have all sorts of herbal and fruit teas to go with the high tea theme of the reception. That sounds fantastic. Who are the three artists that will be showcased in the Tea for Three? We have Marianne Cox, uh, and Marianne is a local uh, watercolorist. Very familiar name. Uh, She's, she has a huge local following as well as really throughout the state. Okay. And we're very fortunate to be able to showcase Marianne's work. She's been showcased in many galleries throughout the country. And she's taught many continuing education classes in the as well. She has. She has. And now that she's retired from teaching, she's actually teaching art at home in her okay. studio. So we have Marianne. Then the second one is uh, Dr. Vincent Cassi. Oh, longtime art professor at ABAC. Yes, absolutely. And he has been working lately on a really neat series of paintings which fit the museum perfectly. They're all folk scenes, folk okay. life scenes. And we're really excited to be the first ones to showcase those. And then the third uh, gentleman is Anthony Scheffler. And Anthony actually came to South Georgia from um, New Orleans, and he is amazing. He's a, I call him an architect of wood because he builds those amazing pieces um, with all sorts of exotic and um, sustainably harvested woods. And okay. he turns them into anything from wall installations to tiny teapots. So we're really, really so excited to have teapots him. on display here in the museum beginning on January 21. Yes. We're going to showcase his teapot collection, which has 12 amazing pieces. In it. Oh, that sounds like a fantastic exhibit. Of course, it's right here in the gallery of the museum. The Georgia Museum of Agriculture and Historic Village became a part of the Abraham Baldwin Agricultural College campus on July 1st, 2010. So we've had over a year now. Boy, it's been a great connection for the museum to be a part of the campus. Our students have enjoyed it. The public, we have lots of school kids in here. A lot of things going on. This brand new exhibit is something that we've really showcased a lot of different exhibits in this gallery over the past year. We have. We have tried every two to three months to have a new exhibit here. So even our local guests can continue to come back and see something new. And as you mentioned, some days we have over 100 children coming through the museum and the gallery on a, on a single school day. So we're really excited to be able to offer this. Well, it allows these school kids, and not just from South Georgia, we've had school kids from Florida and Alabama all over to come in and just see what the museum's all about. And an extra added attraction is the exhibit going on in the gallery. So I know they're going to love uh, uh, Tea for Three. 
T for three, and um, also I didn't tell you, but we will have our uh, bluegrass band, the house band of the museum, Yeehaw. will play at the opening. So we will have the food, the beverages, music. Um, it all starts at 5.30 on the 21st. 5.30 on Saturday the 21st. Everybody invited here? Yes, it's an open invitation. We hope to see everybody. Okay, that's T and scones to open the T for three exhibit here at the museum gallery coming up on Saturday, January 21 at 530. Get some tea, get some scones, have some fun, look at the exhibit. And the exhibit is going to stay in the museum until when? Until March 21st. Okay, until March 21. Now that's going to be an overlapping with the Jimmy Carter exhibit, which I just saw on the outside. That's been a marvelous exhibit for the museum. Yes, we've had a lot of interest in that exhibit and we are fortunate to have it until about mid April. Okay, so if you so haven't seen a few more months to see it. Yeah, a couple more months. If you haven't seen the Jimmy Carter exhibit as well, so you can see two exhibits for the price of one, the, the life of Jimmy Carter, former President Carter and his lovely bride were here just a few months ago. I think the only time that a former United States president has ever been on the ABAC campus, and we loved having President Carter and Rosalind here on the ABAC campus at the Georgia Museum of Agriculture and Historic Village. That exhibit going to be up through mid-April, and this exhibit starts on January 21st, going to be up for a couple months, so a chance for you to see two wonderful exhibits. Of course, you can also tour the museum as well. Right, exactly. We have uh, different things going on. Of course, every Saturday where um, the village is open in January, where the village is closed during the week, um, okay. just because of the temperatures, but um, going in... Um, Coming on in February, we're going to open everything back up All every right. day. But so January open on the weekends? January, just the village, the museum okay. and the gallery are open during the day, just our regular schedule, just the village is not. Um, and then next month we go back to our regular Tuesday through Saturday, 9 to 4.30 schedule. Full scale operation here at the Georgia Museum of Agriculture and Historic Village. We've been talking with Polly Huff about a brand new exhibit. It's called T for Three. It opens at 5.30 on January 21st on that Saturday afternoon. Three different artists featuring everything from paintings to teapots. You're absolutely going to love it. We're on a back update. We will return after this break.